Hey everyone, I'm Christian Rasmussen and I want to talk to you a little bit about the heart of a father. Um, so I have a little bit different perspective on this because I, I grew up in poverty without a father. I had no father figure at all. And so um, growing up, I was, you know, I, I was a liar, I was a cheater, I was a thief. I stole from people and knew nothing about honor, integrity, or doing the right thing. And so when I got saved in my early 20s, it was a radical transformation. And I didn't know what it meant to be a man. Didn't know if I had what it took to be a man. And so I asked God when I got saved, I asked God to father me. And he took me through a two year process where he really fathered me. And a couple of months after I asked him that, I went to a men's conference in Keystone, Colorado. And when I was at that men's conference, uh, the pastor gave a message about a father's blessing. And he talked about what it means to bless your children and to um, instill that blessing in them. Kind of how Isaac did that with Jacob and Esau. He blessed them. He spoke words of life over them. Um, in that message, he told of a few different stories about his father kind of imparting manhood into him and, and teaching him what it meant, um, what it meant to be a man. And when I heard those stories, I, I longed for a father like I'd never had before, like I just wanted that father relationship and it broke me. And I hadn't cried in 10 years up to that point, but I was literally sobbing, you know, snot and tears and just crying and it broke me. And um, that was kind of the beginning of that two year process of God teaching me what it means to be a man. And so when I think of, what I think of, of being a father, it's, it's servanthood. It's, um, you know, everything, all the gifts that God's given us, all of our strength, all of our money, all of our wisdom, everything that we have was given to us to be used for the benefit of others. Um, if we use it for ourselves, it's all wasted. And so, um, I have a different perspective on this because when I'm fathering my children now, when I'm, when I'm showing them what it means to, to be a man and what it means to be a father, um, I'm really witnessing it for the first time, and I love it, and it is the, it's the honor of my life. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Philippians, he said, Whatever you have received or heard or learned from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. What he was really saying is, as I model the Father, you model me. And that's really our job as fathers. That's what I try to do as, as a father. I'm not perfect by any means. But I tell them, as I model the father, you model me. If you want to see how to treat your wife, watch how I treat your mom. If you want to see how to do business or how to give or how to serve, watch me, right? As I model him, you model me. And my job as a father is to answer my kids' questions, and everyone has them. For my sons, it's, Dad, do I have what it takes? Am I a man? And my answer to them is always yes. And for my daughter, it's, Dad, do I captivate you? Are you delighted in me? And my answer to her is always 100% yes. And so when I think of the heart of the Father, I think of imparting life and imparting blessing on those kids.